Right then guys, how's it going and welcome back to your football predictions. There is a lot of football going on right now. <laughs> the midweek games ended last night and today we are predicting the weekend games which start tomorrow lunchtime. So you don't have long to get your predictions in ready for tomorrow. Uh, those were my predictions up there from the midweek games. I got two correct scores. I got that West Ham would beat Watford 1-0 and that Norwich and Crystal Palace would draw 1-1. Uh, again, thank you to everyone who got their comments in and predicted the games in the last video. I will put a mix of people on screen right now, so thank you for everyone who got involved. And be sure to get your predictions down in the comments below for the games we are about to predict for this weekend. So starting things off, 12.30 on BT Sport, we have got Manchester United taking on Southampton. Manchester United now sat in 6th place after a draw with, well, a disappointing draw with Burnley, I would say. I mean, a great point for Burnley. Burnley love drawing games. Uh, Manchester United 1-1 after being 1-0 up. That's coming off the back of losing in the FA Cup as well, so... Not the result they really would have wanted, taking on a Southampton side who had a great result uh, in a great game. Winning 3-2 against Spurs uh, in the midweek is, is fantastic and overall um, I've, I've been playing some good football. I should say you can see on screen now the overall form of both teams is relatively similar, which I don't know whether that shows that Manchester United are underperforming as a team who are trying to fight for a top four or is it the Southampton or overperforming at the minute, sitting in tenth, but really could be doing could be doing better. In terms of a prediction, I've kind of gone that way about it. I've gone two two. I've gone for goals. I've gone for excitement. Um, let me know down below. Uh, moving on now with the three o'clock games, starting off with Brentford taking on Crystal Palace. So just one place between these two sides: Brentford in fourteenth, Crystal Palace in thirteenth. Brentford um, had a very tough game in the week they played Man City and lost, I should say again, because they have had um, some really bad form recently, really struggling to, um, to pick up points and it's almost becoming a situation where, would you say they are now potential contenders for that relegation league, sitting just six points ahead of it now? Uh, taking on a Crystal Palace side who are two points ahead of Brentford, so a little bit more of a gap there. Um, they drew 1-1 with Norwich, which again I think they will be disappointed in because they were 1-0 down, they got it back 1-1, and then Zaha missed a penalty. So they, they could have been better there. Uh, in terms of a result, I've gone Crystal Palace 1-0. As I say, both playing similar. Um, sorry, both similar position in the league, but form-wise... Uh, Brentford are, are not looking good, so I've back Crystal Palace there. Um, next 3 o'clock game, we have got Everton taking on Leeds. Again, one place between them. Everton sitting in 16th, Leeds sitting in 15th. For Everton, we know obviously they have not had a good season. Uh, that's why they brought in Frank Lampard. They won. He won his first game against um, Brentford at last weekend in the FA Cup. Then played Newcastle on the Tuesday night and lost 3-1. Uh, so, again, playing Newcastle, who are a definite relegation contender right now, and losing 3-1, now Everton themselves are almost falling into that potential relegation space themselves. Uh, Taking on Leeds side, who, um, again, are one place ahead, potentially could be involved in... It's 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 all so tight down there. I mean, one thing that Leeds did do is um, win two really important games a couple of weeks back, and then being three one down against Villa this week and and drawing three three is a fantastic point on the board for them. Um, if I was going to back either team, I think I would possibly nudge at Leeds, but I just think that I don't think Everton have got bad players. Which is why I was almost surprised of how poor Everton actually played against Newcastle. Um, and I think they will pull some points back soon. So I've, I've actually gone draw. 
I've gone 1-1 one, one there. I think Frank Lampard will get a tune. It's just he needs to do it sooner rather than later. And to finish off with the 3 o'clock games, we have got Watford taking on Brighton. So Watford sitting in 19th place. They're in the relegation zone. They have still not won for some time now. They have brought Roy Hodgson in to try and fix the situation. But it's not off to a great start with a 1-0 loss against West Ham during the week. Taking on a Brighton side who are currently sitting in 9th and have not played a game in the Premier League since the 23rd of January. So they have had some break uh, coming into this one, and um, Brighton love a draw. They, they really do. They've drawn the last three games, and I've backed a 1-1 a in this one. Moving on to the 5.30 game now, which is on Sky. We've got Norwich taking on Manchester City. So Norwich sitting in 18th place, just inside the relegation zone. Um, obviously, they jumped out of it for the first time when they won their game at the weekend. Um, slipped back down into the relegation zone when Newcastle won. They got back out of the relegation zone again when they went 1-0 up against Crystal Palace. But as I say, when it ended 1-1, they dropped back down. And um, really, as I mentioned, Zaha missed the pen. So it could have actually been worse for them. But they take the point... They're moving into a game against Manchester City now, who are obviously sitting top of the league, have just hit 60 points for the season so far, um, following their win during the week against Brentford. And I have Batman City, and I have gone 3-0. Um, moving on to the Sunday now, first game at 2 o'clock, we have got Burnley taking on Liverpool. Um, Burnley themselves sitting in 20th place. Um, I keep saying Burnley love to draw, uh, and they got themselves another one during the week against Manchester United, which... By all means, I would say is a very good draw for them. The, the problem with, with Burnley is, and they do have a number of games in hand because they had so many games cancelled, but they need to start picking up wins. Now, don't get me wrong, a draw against Manchester United is a, is a good one. And I think if they could draw again this weekend against Liverpool, I think they would take it now. Um, because they're taking on Liverpool side who are in second place, won 2-0 against Leicester last night. Um, Jota double, he was playing phenomenally for them, and uh, we did see Salah come on as a sub last night following his return from the African Cup of Nations, and I would expect both him and Mane to play this weekend, so if it wasn't already going to be a tough one for Burnley, it could well have just got even tougher with these two players coming back, and that's why I've got Liverpool 2-0. Uh, moving on again, this is another 2 o'clock game, but this one is on TV, it's on Sky, and it is Newcastle taking on Aston Villa. So, I've already mentioned it, Newcastle, um, 17th place, just outside the relegation zone, with their win against Everton during the, um, during the week. And Newcastle were the only team in the bottom half of the table to pick up three points. Uh, so, it was, a, it was a massive three points. St. Max was incredible. Trippier was as well, however, if I'm not mistaken, Trippier is injured and will not feature against Aston Villa this weekend, which is a massive blow. And to add to that, Matty Target, who Newcastle have on loan from Aston Villa, who also played phenomenally during the week, because he's on loan, he will also not be able to feature. And I think one of the things that Newcastle's had big problems with is the centre-backs. You know, Lascelles, Shaw, both of them played really well during the week. And I just think a lot of that is the difference of having those two fullbacks. To have two fullbacks you can rely on rather than the makeshift ones we've been working with makes a huge difference. But now, both of them aren't playing, uh, which I think is going to be a worry. Going in against an Aston Villa side who we know can score goals after their 3 3 draw during the week against Leeds. Currently sitting in 11th place. Um, I mean, they, won one, they were 1 0 down, they then were 3 1 up. So I think they'll possibly be disappointed that they couldn't get the three points there. Um, and then to add to that, they've also had a few injuries as well. Coutinho is in potential question of whether he can play. Uh, Conza got the red card, so I'm assuming he'll be banned from this game. So it's a tough one to call. Uh, the last two games I've gone Newcastle 1-0. And the scoreline's been completely wrong, but they've still managed to win. So I'm going to be a little bit um, superstitious and stick with that. However, uh, I think it could be a close one. Um, moving on again, Sunday, and again at 2 o'clock, and it's not on TV. We have got Spurs taking on Wolves. So Tottenham sitting in 7th place. Um, 
I think I might have jinxed them, to be honest, because for a while I've been saying how Conte had turned them round, how they were playing much better football, how you started to get a tune. Um, they've lost the last two. They've lost the last two games now, uh, and that includes the three-two loss against Southampton through the week. I mean, again, it's exciting football for the neutral, uh, but I think. You know, after what had been such a good run, they'd been un actually undefeated in the Premier League for, for, for quite a few games. To now lose two on the bounce, taking on a Wolves side who were just one place behind in eighth. Had won three games in a row until they lost 1-0 against Arsenal through the week. And they actually backed Wolves to be the team that won 1-0. So I got that one the wrong way around. Um, I think this could be quite a close game. I've backed Spurs. I've gone 2 1 again. Um, I would never rule Wolves out because I think they can be quite a, a tough team to play. I think uh, Conte has probably kicked the players all around the dressing room after losing that game. So I think I think they will go ahead and, and pick up three points in this one. Um, and then moving on to the final game on Sunday at 4 30 on Sky. We have got uh, Leicester taking on West Ham. So Leicester currently sitting in 12th place. Um, I spoke about this last week, so I won't bang on about it too long. But again, Leicester not having the greatest of seasons right now. It's it's just um, it's just not quite work. Again, it, it's it's hard to put a a finger on what exactly isn't right and if you're a Leicester fan then please feel free to tell me what you think what isn't working and I don't know but just because my expectations of Leicester are Champions League top six Europe maybe you know with the, with the way things are changing that's not quite where they are right now but I just see it as that's what if you'd asked me to predict at the start of the season I probably would have kept them in that top six bracket so to see them in 12th isn't looking quite right uh, again they did play Liverpool who are fantastic right now so that's Never going to be an easy game. Um, but also playing um, a West Ham side who have now moved up to fourth again. Uh, again, that fight for the top four spot is, is becoming very exciting with a 1-0 win for them over Watford. And for a prediction, I have gone 1-0 uh, to West Ham. Uh, and then to finish off on the Tuesday. So again, the, the games are so all over the place now. I have... I have put this Tuesday game in as well. Uh, it's two teams. It's Manchester United taking on Brighton. I've already discussed both of them. They both already play at the weekend before the Tuesday. So I'm just going to throw out a prediction. 1-0 to Manchester United. They are included in game week. So I am going to include it in my video as well. Even though it's not a weekend game. And that is it. So those are all of my predictions for the games up there. Be sure to get your predictions down in the comments below. Um, before... If before the game starts, if possible, because you don't have long, I will keep coming back and checking on the scores that are coming through. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, enjoy your Friday night. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll catch you later.